What to do, my YouTube fan? It's a boy Arca X here, back with another Infinite Warfare video. I think I got like two more videos or three more videos left from Diaz in the archives. So, the fact that I know that I have these videos, I decided to make a video today based off was Infinite Warfare as bad as it was portrayed, or was it better than again than what it was portrayed? You know, like this game got a lot of negative reviews. Yo, this video has like the most dislikes on YouTube. The reveal trailer or the multiplayer the multiplayer reveal, one of those two. Um it has to be top three or top five for sure. And you know, I'm here to have a conversation about that. You know, for me, my personal experience IW again, playing core, I didn't enjoy it at all. I hated it. Terrible. Stunk. Infinity War, what were you thinking? Then, I went into hardcore. Hardcore, ladies and gentlemen. That's where everything has changed for me in this game. You know, of course, yeah, you still have your little hiccups. Of course. They don't go away. Every game has its own issues, bugs, no perfect Call of Duty, no perfect game. That doesn't exist. But, Got the MV4 rolling right here. I believe I got the grip extended mags, ELO sight, Warfighter. You already know. Advanced UAV, counter UAV, and regular UAV. Well, the third UAV. The way the game shipped out, people, yes, it was definitely incomplete. The beta was like two weeks prior to the, the release date. The game was definitely incomplete. With that said, similar to World War II, where it, World War II is definitely more, a lot enjoyable and playable at the moment. Even though I don't feel commando too much. I don't like the commando, um, the commando squad that they just added. Division. Other than that, game is fine. For all the updates they did, all the stuff they added to the game, all the stuff that the main hand hound chose didn't do when they had it. Terrible. That's exactly the same way I feel about IW. The problem is that IW was hated from the get. It wasn't given the proper introduction. It wasn't given the proper chance for people to actually enjoy or even like the game because people were already, already shitting on the game before it even dropped. So the game had a lot of hate get people before it even got put on shelves. Why is that? You know, for me, I definitely enjoyed IW. To, uh, IW. You know, I definitely went to 30 prestiges on this game. Master Prestige, I unlocked the camo, the Dark Matter camo. Um, in this game, what it was called? The Black Sky camo. <laughs> That's what it was called. I definitely had fun, man. Definitely had fun. Um, I grinded, grinded 10 prestiges and breezed by the final 20. It was a good game, man. I definitely enjoyed it. it definitely, again, it has its bugs. Infinite Warfare was, in, to me, the most inconsistent Call of Duty. Where you'll dominate three games in a row and all of a sudden you'll go to shit for three more. You know, it was the game full of parties, I, I, like, I like to call it. You know, every time we play parties, you're versing parties, parties, parties. And this game is easy. And this is a game where I played a lot of Kill Confirmed. Kill Confirmed being like the main objective game that I've played. Rarely play Domination, didn't care for it. But I played Core for a little bit, then switched to Hardcore. So we dropped the DI right here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, again, the DI is so satisfying in this game. Just everything. Like it's, if I was, to, you gave me the choice, the DI or V2 Rocket. I'm choosing the DI. The DI was just, woo, excuse me, so satisfying and definitely more eye appealing and hopefully they have a some sort of nuke streak in the next call of duty not black ops 4 i'm talking about what comes out next year because infinity ward actually has the, the realm next year but with that said guys again here on the map terminal awesome map back in the days not so much in infinite four and in infinite warfare i enjoyed the game again after they added the the kill streak choices each streak has three options whether it be uh, legendary or epic, I believe. 
that was you know that was definitely something that the game needed they added more camos and grinding for you know things that black ops 3 had i don't don't understand why this game didn't have the kill streak situation though was so cool because the advanced uav which should have been the uav advanced uav from the jump was the one that everybody started rocking anyway um but the smoothness of the game, I feel like this is the best advanced movement game as far as the movement goes. I hate the movement in Black Ops 3. I feel like they make so much damn noise with the boost and with the slide and the footsteps. Like that this game was just way better. To me it was more smoother, it was more easier to control. Um, of course you had, you know, your issues. Synaptic was an issue in this game. His hitbox was definitely smaller than everybody else's. No matter what they tell you, it was. But yeah, man, definitely. I feel like this game, a lot of people didn't play it because of the negative reviews that it got without people actually trying it. And that sucks, you know, because I feel like more people would have definitely enjoyed this game if they would have gave it a chance. Now, for a fact, you cannot play this game the way you play Black Ops 3. This game is way faster paced. Even though it's future movement, it's faster paced. And I think that's what people didn't like, that it was so fast paced. That's why you had to be on crack playing this game. Not that I take drugs or anything, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but with that said, people, Infinite Warfare definitely didn't get its fair shake. You know, for me, it wasn't as bad as it was, as it was portrayed. You know, again, I made a video not too long ago and submitted it to Thunder about game modes. Sometimes you just got to find your, your neck of the woods. Just because you suck at domination doesn't mean you're gonna suck at kill confirm. Or the other way around. You have to find your ne neck of the woods and you have to enjoy what you can, man. You're not gonna do bad in every game mode. Every game, again, this was kill confirm and team deathmatch all I played. Rarely played domination in this game. Didn't want to. It was too crazy for me. Just, even though domination was the game mode I played in other games, I couldn't play it in IW. It was too crazy for me. But with that said, World War II came through. Same thing. I couldn't play Kill Confirm. I played TDM for a good amount of time. But that was it. Domination is the head honcho for me in World War II. But yeah, man, IW to me was a lot better than what was it, the way it, it was defaced, basically. It was, it's like a mural getting graffitied on. That's the way I felt like IW got. A lot of people were tired of the advanced movement at this point. I get that. This was the third year in a row. At the end of the day, this is a Call of Duty community at the same time. This community is AIDS, bro. They complain, they were like, oh, Call of Duty, when before my advanced movement, Call of Duty is not in it, in, in it, yeah. Call of Duty keeps doing the same shit every year. Game, same thing, blah, 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 blah. We need something different. They give us an advanced movement game, two years in a row, we get a third year in a row, oh my god, Call of Duty, go back to what we used to like. So it's like, make up your mind. You know, people can't make up their minds. Yeah, I call it in. But at the end of the day, again, I enjoy IW I got, I to a certain it. extent. From 1 to 10, I definitely give it like a strong 6, 7. But it's your boy, Arca X, and you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.